more than a decade after the murder of Summer Baldwin. New photos and documents about her life are coming out. In 2005, 29-year-old Summer Baldwin was found dead in a suitcase at the Lubbock landfill. She and 16-year-old Joanna Rogers were both killed by Rosinda Rodriguez, dubbed the suitcase killer. He admitted to killing, raping, and throwing both girls away in suitcases at the landfill sometime between 2004 and 2005. Rodriguez was executed last year at the Huntsville prison for his crimes. 14 years later, a previous landlord finds a file folder full of pictures. She made it her mission to return those to jo Joanna's fa um, Summer's family. Our Emily, Har Emily Harrison tracked Summer's family down into Mexico and brought them pictures of a loved one to help bring them closure. Terry Summers, Summers' mom says it was as much of a shock for her as it was for the landlord. She has come to Lubbock several times looking for any connection to her daughter and for the past several years has heard of nothing until now. The file holds letters, documents and photos of Summer, her son and the apartment they lived in at Sturdivant Rentals. And now that landlord has made it her mission to find Summers' family and return a piece of her life back to them. It was a, a wow moment like what do I do with this? And I can't just shred it and throw it away. You know, to me, it's not trash. How could you, how could you throw that away? You can't. Summer Baldwin wasn't just another tenant to Kotha Warren. The two were close while Summer was living in one of her grandfather's apartments in South Lubbock. Summer and I had a, uh, an understanding to where if she ever needed help, she needed to call 911 and then immediately call me. She was a beautiful woman. Um, her little boy was just, it was precious. It's, I just feel for her mother. So when she found the pictures of Summer, she wanted to make sure that the memory of a beloved tenant and friend was taken seriously. I can't just throw them away and, you know, like she's dirt beneath my feet or any, you know, that's just not where they belong is in the landfill. I'm not Rosendo. They, the, this stuff that I have needs to be put in the right hands. Summer Baldwin spent three years living in this apartment behind me. When Kotha found the pictures, she come through the rest of the file trying to find any family members or emergency contacts. She found two, but received no response. That's when she reached out to us, and I found the family in Roswell, New Mexico. Anything that I can get back from Summer's life is a treasure to me. Any part of her life that I can retrieve it's good. Summer's it's mom, good. Yuva, has never seen these photos before, and seeing them for the first time brought back memories of her daughter that was taken too soon. I didn't like her hair in this picture because <laughs> her hair is uh, normally a beautiful strawberry blonde, and she had dyed it this dark red color, and then she had this picture made, and I thought, oh. Yuva was living in Washington State when police called her to tell her her daughter was missing and again when Summer's body had been found. He came into the kitchen and he told me I was fixing dinner and he came in the kitchen he says you need to sit down. I says well I'm too busy I'm fixing dinner you know and he says no you need to sit down. He says um, that was the police department. He says and they found Summer's body. Of course I just um, says, no, that can't be, and he goes, yeah. For 10 years, Rosendo Rodriguez sat on death row waiting for execution, and for 10 years, Yuva says she has waited for justice. He deserved to die, and I wanted to see, to make sure that he did die. At the execution, while he was rambling on and telling people that he had only done what Jesus warned him to, well, Jesus did not want him to go out and kill all these girls and stuff like that. It just made you want to go through that window and just choke him yourself. Rodriguez has been dead for almost a year and her daughter, 14 years. It's been a long journey to find any sort of healing, but Yuva says moments like this bring back small pieces of her daughter. I want to thank you very much for keeping these for all these years. And that means, you know, you've got a good heart. And I just thank you from the bottom of my heart. 
When I met with Yuva, she said these photos couldn't have come at a better time as the anniversary of Rodriguez's execution is coming up and it can be a really difficult time for her. I can only imagine, you know, that case was so big and there was so much that went into it and it, it affected so many families, you know, and that made it really hard. So I'm glad that she's able to find something good. Yes, for especially. both Joanna and Summer, it, it yes. has just been an absolute tragedy. I mean, this can't cover it, but still, it's right. something nice to return. It sure is. All right, Emily, thank you so much.